Okay, in the last page of multiple choice, we're looking at question 21. So it says, at an ice cream shop, the profit, P of C, is modeled by the function, and we're looking for an appropriate domain. So what is a domain? These are our, traditionally our X values, or in this case, our C values, the input. So what is the input referring to here? We need to know the context of the problem. In this problem, it's representing ice cream cones. Now let's think about that for a moment. If I'm a store owner, I'm selling ice cream cones, I can sell nothing, I can sell one cone, two cones, three cones, etc. That's going to help me answer this question. So it ends up being choice two. Integers usually include negatives, but they say greater than or equal to zero, which is exactly what I want. Why is choice four no good? Even though it's greater than zero, rational numbers include fractions and decimals, which wouldn't make sense in the cone aspect. I can't sell uh, a third of a cone to someone. So number sets, be aware of what represents what. For 22, how many real number solutions does 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0 have? So we don't actually have to solve it. It wants to know how many answers does it have. And you haven't even learned about this yet, or br very briefly, we're ignoring any imaginary aspects or components here. So that's why it says real number, if you were curious. The easiest way to answer this question there's a few complicated ways we could actually solve it, being the most complicated. The easiest way is actually, believe it or not, by looking at a graph. Type in your calculator, a very, very rough sketch it looks something like this. So how does this tell me the answer to this question? Recall, it's going to equal zero where it hits the x-axis, which this graph clearly doesn't. So right away in five seconds, I could tell that this has zero solutions. Now if you want to be a little bit more thorough, I'm not going to do the actual solution here, but we can utilize what's called the discriminant. This is the component under the radical in the quad formula, and this reveals the nature of the solutions to a quadratic. It will tell you how many they are, are they rational or irrational. So you can just do a little part of the quad formula to tell you this. If you do it, you end up getting 4 minus 4 times 4 times 5, or 80, and that's going to be negative 76. So that tells you nothing if you don't understand what it means, but in this case, a negative under the radical would not be allowed. That's why we end up having zero solutions. 23 was one of the more difficult questions in the multiple choice. Um, just a little tricky. It wasn't actually that difficult, but just tricky the way it was phrased and how the answers work out. So let's see. So this was a literal equation or rearranging formulas this topic is called. We're going to solve for L first. So we subtract 2w. Now for me to remove that 2, I'm going to divide out the 2. And this is how most of us would probably write this answer. We see it right away in choice 3. This is where you wanted to be careful with this question. Luckily, no choices just said 3, so we had to look carefully to begin with. If you actually do the division here, if you actually divide P by 2 and divide 2W by 2, we're going to get 2 over 2W, we end up seeing that choice 1 also makes sense. P over 2 is 1 half P. And obviously 2 over 2, we wouldn't write it like that, it's just 1w. And this is where some people might have chose choice 3. But look at 2, be a little suspicious here. If you distribute 1 half, you get 1 half p, and 2 times a half is what we just had in choice 1. So 1, 2, and 3 are all the same representation, even though they look a little different. Tricky question, but choice 4 was the answer for 23. And last but not least, 24, we have a recursive sequence. I like to start these by kind of listing or making a vertical row. So if I know the first term, I'm going to find the second, third, fourth, and fifth. I do have to do these in order, as when it says a sub n minus 1, I'm plugging in the previous answer n just very simply refers to the number you're looking for. So you can replace that right away with 3, 4, 5. And now I have to do it in order because I need my previous answer. I'm plugging in a 6. And last but not least, I'm plugging in a 24 to get my answer of 120. Choice 3. Recursive sequences.